Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout 3 New Vegas. Uh, as you can see I've, uh, I've got my clothes on now, thankfully. Uh, ready to go, pit boy on the arm, laser pistol in the pocket. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of mods kicking around on this as I said before. Uh, quite a number in the corner, I'll just zip over to show you all. Um, basically I'm running the, I think it's the Type 3 body mod. Um, and uh, here at the moment you can see my uh, my laser pistol it's not actually going to draw it but uh, yeah it's using the, the classics uh, classic fallout weapons uh, kick around in here a whole bunch of stuff that I've decided to stash that you know got off the trail pack and the mercenary pack and all that along with uh, stormtrooper armor because I've got uh, the, the stormtrooper pack installed uh, some extra bits and pieces, dynamite, venom, more imperial gear. Uh, so I decided I probably wasn't going to need. And obviously, you know, the mercenary armor, the leather armor, grenade rifle, and some uh, training, uh, some trouble repair. Tribal raiding armor. Let's uh, just grab those one here. I've done a little bit of raiding of the Doc's house, so that's why I picked up the laser pistol, got a few rounds for it, not many. Um, but I figured it's time to uh, to go outside, but uh, I think first I just need to clear out these alerts that will come up. Hey, no, that's fine there. Make sure there's no alerts. Oh, there's one. Go away. Uh, no, 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 no. Cool, let's go. Two good springs. Right. Old World Blues. You've got a fragmenting signal on your pit boy, a coded transmission of some sort with a sad jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive In. Your pit boy has received a signal coordinates that lead you to the canyon wreckage east of Prim. Following the coordinates of the words Courier 6, it is signed Ulysses. That's a bit of a spoiler. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast from the Happy Trails Caravan Company. They're looking for more, one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. There we go. Uh, here we have... Oh, here we have Victor, actually. Let's, go, let's have a chat with Victor uh, before I tell you about the mod we've got. Um, ongoing conflict in the Harvey Wasteland has kicked weapon manufacturers into high gear. All major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons, ammunition types, and modifications. Edge your nearest participating vendor to peruse the merchandise. Hello. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thank you very much. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Uh, how did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once bone they'd orchard. run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. A bone orchard basically is graveyard. Uh, do you know who those men who were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I shall ask them. How do you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Spoilers, there's a reason why you can't remember. Um, but you find out when you get to Vegas. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. I shall do so. Goodbye. Happy trails! Right, now, as you can see around here, this is the Good Springs Reloaded mod. Uh, you've got some more greenery going around, extra trucks and things placed in various places, extra buildings. Uh, basically trying to make it look more like 
uh, the actual Good Springs, Nevada, than just what was left over. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast inviting to the grand opening of Sierra Madre Casino. I shall probably go there. Right. Um, anything in? No, nothing in mailbox. Cool. Okay. Well, we've uh, we've got a couple of jobs to do. We've spoken with Victor, and the other one was to go see Sunny Smiles. So let's uh, let's pop off to the saloon. This weapon shop. Uh, you probably see slight change in the saloons and the more motorcycles outside. You've got a mangy dog instead. Called Old Bart. Still got Easy Pete outside here though. And a garden gnome. Not gonna take it. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Handy to know. Uh, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay, I shall do so. Nothing much going on here. Hello. Hello, fellow. Out this door, eh? What? 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 We? Wow, you are here quick. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yep. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay, let me get. Uh, let me go around this side. Right. Uh, my aim is pretty poor, but here you go. Nope. 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 Move him because that a bit. Nope. Uh, try crouching down. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Yeah, I've got one. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. That's what I'm trying to do. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Yeah. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. So yeah, pathing uh, works quite well actually, surprisingly, with the uh, the modern sword. Obviously she would run straight through what is now a fenced off area. So she kind of just runs up and around it now and goes, ooh. Gets a little, occasionally gets a little stuck on the end here. But you know, mod's a mod. You can't have everything perfect all the time. Uh, so what, do we go down the, down the road? Can I jump on top of this thing? No. She's still stuck there. Come on, Sonny. You can do it. Mods. Uh, so apparently yeah, over this way somewhere. She'll uh, she'll free herself in a moment. Well, at least she normally does free herself. I don't have to travel down there on my own. Oh no, she has to herself. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? That way. So Cheyenne is still stuck. Okay. Uh, so we're, 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 uh, ah, there she is. So yeah, like I say, you know, <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, you know, change of town, and then all the pathing inside all goes a bit wonky, but yeah. Off we go, we're gonna kill some little critters now. Shoot them in the face with rifles. Probably miss a few times too, cause I'm a crap shot. Shoot 
Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Yep. We got some geckos to clear out. A bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Alright. I'll try. Uh, gonna reload the gun. Cool. Obviously, uh... Okay, you're on. Go weapon conditions make it slow to reload if it's a poor quality weapon. But, yeah, you probably knew that already. This is Fallout. Or well, Fallout 3, Bethesda's Fallout. Come on, where are you? Oh, there's one. Can I hit him? Bah! What a shot! One down. There's some more. I think there's one moving behind the cactus. There's one. Come on! Stop. That's right. You get it. Cool. He's dead. Take some meat. Is there any geckos left up here? No, just the one I sniped over here somewhere. That was a pretty good shot to hit someone all the way over here. Ah, well, wherever. I don't know where it's gone. I don't want to search for it. Don't do that, push me. Not right now, I think. See? You're getting the hang of it. Yep. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Now, I think we need to go down and around. I don't want to go leg it straight over the top here, but... Uh... Oh, she's going this way, okay. I think there's someone around here who needs saving. Whoop! Welcome to the Voltec Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. VATS displays the chance to hit, along with the condition of each body part. Mouse button 1 to attack your target. Mouse button 2 to cancel your attack. Button E to accept your actions. Left click on the left or right arrows to switch to a new target. Uh, mm, six percent to shoot me in the head. Ninety-five. Let's leg him. Oh, he's not got a good chance yet, has he? Uh, him there, thirty, fifty. Oh dear. No, I don't want to shoot Shane or Sunny. Back to him. All right. Well, let's uh, let's shoot him in this leg a lot. Go! Come on, shoot him. Ah, uh, well done, you... I... Shot a gecko in the leg. That was my contribution. <laughs> Now there's some crazy shit going on over here. Need to run, need to save the lady, because there's someone down here who needs help. Come on, hold him off for a little while longer, miss. Oh dear, you're dead. Never mind. Tough to keep her alive anyway. Sometimes I can, if you know, if I go in swinging and, uh, and just, like, smack her on the head with a big club or something. Sometimes I can keep her alive, but uh, yeah, it's it's it can be quite difficult. So uh, uh, there he is. There's, whoops, I want to take all. Probably just use A. I've got my finger on it all the blinking time. 
Casey. Oh, Casey. Sorry. Prospect to the knife ball cap. Okay. Right. Now let's see. What have I got? Uh, weapons. So there's 20 rounds. I've got 62 rounds from my vomit rifle. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I have do have the. I decided to take the E11 blaster rifle because why not? Uh, uh, that's that's actually got melee weapons plus two, speech plus two. That's actually got some damage threshold on it. Let's put the prospector outfit. Yeah, keep the vomit rifle. Why not? Here I am. Prospect to Tina. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you okay. did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Mm -hmm. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. Thank and making you. useful things for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Interested? It couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Right, you are. I just need to remember that we need to be over here to do cooking. Uh. Can I steal any of these buckets? No. Uh, boxes, anything useful in these? Open toolbox. Nah, sense module. Nah. Nah, a couple of cinder bricks. Alright, I just need to remember where Sunny is now. Um, I would assume if I just keep. So it's north. Pretty much due south, roughly, to get to this campsite. Uh, anything useful over here? Lots of cans and empty bottles and things and suitcase. Ooh, hockey mask. Uh, value three. Well, that's probably worth a few caps to somebody. Milk bottle. Empty, empty nuka cola. Ah, nothing worth it. Off we go. Uh, 